everyone and welcome back to my channel. Some time ago I received an amazing package from Lightwish containing this incredible set of 88 watercolor paints. I am so excited to finally get to test them out. Before I do, I just want to say a big thank you to the Lightwish team for this incredible opportunity to work with you. In today's video, I will be unboxing the George's watercolor paints, making swatches of every color, painting with them and sharing my thoughts. So let's go! The first thing you will notice is the beautiful and elegant packaging. The packaging is so simple to use, all you have to do is slide the watercolors out to the side and pull it out. They've made sure that the watercolor pans stay nice and safe inside their packaging with a handy plastic protection. This is really thoughtful too, it's a great way to add some visual interest to the packaging while still allowing you to peek inside without opening it. I think this would make a great color mixing palette, what do you think? The Lightwish watercolor paint set contains 48 regular colors, 28 metallic glitter colors and 12 neon colors, so this is a huge amount of color. And there's more! Inside the box you will also find a small sponge to help remove any excess water from your brush and don't worry about having your own brushes, there's also a handy little water brush inside to fill with water so you will have everything you need to start painting right away. Let's do some color swatches. I think Lightwish really knows me well, as I've always said that I don't like mixing colors together in my videos. So I was really happy to see that this set has kept that to a minimum. The great thing about having so many colors to choose from is that it saves you loads of time when you are mixing them. I'm really impressed with how the colors are chosen. They are all so different from each other and there aren't any cases where two of them are almost the same. Because that's something I've noticed with other watercolor brands. The colors are absolutely amazing. They are really vibrant, saturated and pigmented. You can achieve a really subtle transparent look with them or you can get quite the opposite effect and go for something much more opaque. I decided to start my color swatches off with the metallic glitter colors and they are absolutely gorgeous. I'm not sure I've ever shown this on my channel before, but one of my absolute favorite things to do is add glitter elements to my drawings. I would love to show you my handmade paints with glitter and holographic elements one day. They are not exactly paints because I make my own mix like this in a small jar, then connect it all with transparent glue. I'm sure many of you there already know what I'm talking about when I say tubes with glitter glue. I thought you might like some see something similar but with a much nicer finish. Don't worry, I will be sure to show you what it looks like and how to do it at some point. We also have some really bright neon colors which look just like the neon highlighters you used in school to mark the most important things to make it easier to learn. How nostalgic is that? Have you used or are you still using these neon highlighters? Or do you prefer the pastel shades? This comparison should show you what the colors look like in real life, as the camera does a little bit of color distortion, but don't worry, they are really vibrant and neon. I absolutely love the regular colors. They are also so vibrant and pigmented. The two bright colors in the skin tones are my absolutely favorites. I often run out of these colors in my other paint sets and as you know, mixing them to get the perfect color is quite labor intensive for me. It's tiring and I don't like doing it, so I would love to find a way to make it easier. 
And another thing, these paints often go to waste on the mixing palette because before I can get the color I want, I have to add lots of individual shades. Then I have to wash the palette before I can use it again, which is quite a hassle. I thought it would be fun to use the metallic glitter colors in the kit to paint something with them and add some glitter. And then the idea came to me. What if I drew a character that would be a mermaid? I just knew these metallic glitter colors were perfect for this. I could use them for the scully dress or add some glitter to the background to make it look like water. I started by sketching the idea digitally, then printed it out and transferred it to my sketchbook using the light pad. I started off by doing a kind of a base where I applied colors to the drawing with very watered down paints. Then I added a few more layers and built up the shadows. With watercolors you paint from the lightest to the darkest. I'm really thrilled with how these paints blend together. I just love the effect on the hair. Isn't it lovely how the pink color blends so beautifully with the purple? As you are probably aware, in addition to the water brush that came with the kit, I also use my regular brush. The first thing to mention is that the water brush is quite large, which might make it tricky to get into the finer details. I mainly use the water brush to paint over larger areas like the background or base layer. I must say that I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with these types of brushes, like water brushes. I'm not sure if I was just unlucky with these brushes, but every time something was wrong. The water either didn't want to flow at all, or it was pouring far too much water and it was still flooding my entire drawing. I was really surprised by the water brush in this set because it was completely different to the others. It was absolutely amazing. It gave me so much hope that not all water brushes are as flimsy as the ones I've had before. I've never painted with watercolors on their own. I always have to combine them with something else, so it's the same this time. I just love mixed media techniques. I really wanted to achieve a very subtle and transparent effect with the watercolors, but at the same time emphasize the whole character with line art, so I used colored pencils for that. I've also added a little extra color here and there, but now I think it might have been a bit over the top as the watercolors themselves have such beautiful vibrant colors. I also used white gel pen to add some white outlines or flashes. I really think it makes the drawing look much more interesting, don't you agree? I wanted to give you a quick small life update, as I've been feeling quite tired recently. I am a very ambitious person by nature, so it's been a little worrying for me recently, as I've been lacking in discipline, motivation and energy to work. I've been struggling a bit with a short bout of depression, but I've been quick to realize and I'm trying to keep it from developing into a bigger issue. Thankfully, it hasn't been too bad, so I'm hoping it will be over soon. It was so good to get all those feelings out there and I needed to do that with someone who I felt understood. Since then, I feel so much better. I feel like I've been cleansed of most of the negative emotions that were sitting inside me. At one point, I felt like I was losing control of myself, my behavior, my feelings and my emotions. 
it was a bit worrying because I'm usually a very rational person. I was really scared about it and didn't know what was going on, especially as I felt the emotions mainly in a physical way, like pain in my chest. I was absolutely terrified. It felt as though my heart was being ripped in two. I took a moment to reflect on my situation and remember how I used to handle these kinds of moments in the past. I've been walking a lot lately, listening to music and thinking about things to find the best way to solve some problems. I always try to take a very logical approach to such things. I usually use reason and don't get carried away by my emotions. And I decided to take care of myself too. I was on medication for a long time that made me feel hungry and I ended up back at my pre-loss weight. My self-confidence has taken a bit of a knock recently, so I'm really trying to get back to the weight I felt most comfortable at. I've been trying to eat mindfully and I've started weighting my food again and counting calories. It really helps me to relax and feel in control. That was just what I needed. I'm slowly starting to feel better and I've already lost 4 kilos. Fingers crossed for me. And do you have any of your own ways that help you relax and feel at peace? Let me know in the comments. Let's get back to these wonderful Lightwish watercolors. I would absolutely love to try these watercolors on paper that's typically used for water-based paints. I would also love to see how they do with more opacity, so I will definitely be trying something else to paint on in the near future. I would like to thank you Lightwish from the bottom of my heart for the amazing opportunity to work with you. I'm really happy you appreciated my work. It means a lot to me and gives me the motivation I need to keep working hard. Thank you. I had such a great time painting with these paints. I absolutely love them and I am so happy to be able to recommend them to you. If you are interested in purchasing this amazing set of Lightwish watercolors, you will find links to do so below the video. I'm so sorry for the delay, but I should have the discount code for you in the near future. Once I get it, I will share it in a pinned comment. In the meantime, keep your eyes peeled because I'm sure it's just around the corner. Thanks so much for your patience. I probably wrote to the amazing Lightwish team a little too late about the release date of the video, as I didn't know if I would make it given my current state. I'm so happy to say that I did. I wouldn't want to leave you without a video this week, so I'm really happy to be able to share it with you anyway. Let me know if you like the end result of the painting. I would love to know your thoughts. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. See you soon, bye!